President Trump also facing massive backlash after saying in an interview that he would be open to hearing dirt on his 2020 rivals from foreign governments. Watch. Your campaign this time around, if foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. You want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI if I thought there was something wrong. But when somebody comes up with oppo research, right, they come up with oppo research. Oh, let's call the FBI. The FBI doesn't have enough agents to take care of it. But you go and talk honestly to congressmen. They all do it. They always have. And that's the way it is. It's called oppo research. Democratic 2020 candidates were quick to pounce, as you can imagine. Joe Biden tweeting that it's a threat to our national security. Kamala Harris taking it a step further, saying the president himself is a national security threat. Kirsten Gillibrand saying it's time for Congress to begin impeachment hearings. And Elizabeth Warren echoing Gillibrand also calling for impeachment. House Speaker Nance Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer harshly criticizing the president. The president gave us once again evidence that he does not know right from wrong. It's a very sad thing for the president to be so cavalier, to disregard, to be indifferent to law and any sense of ethics about who we are as a country to say he would invite foreign e intervention further. The uh, intelligence community with uh, great confidence has put forth that the Russians interfered, interfered in our election. That's an assault on our democracy. To say that it is okay to interfere that we shouldn't have any law enforcement, that we should have no knowledge, is to encourage Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, to interfere in our elections with no recourse. Shame. Shame. Jesse, I was gone <laughs> one day, <laughs> I and know. I get back, and we're still talking about Russia, but um, this is obviously getting a lot of attention today. This might be one of the dumbest controversies in the Trump administration, and there's been a lot of dumb controversies. I think this might even take the cake. So little George goes into the Oval, and he starts trying to create a scandal over a hypothetical. So George comes in, and Mr. President, uh, the ambassador to China, you know, he, just, he says to you that, that Bernie uh, stiffed a waitress at Denny's. What do you do? <laughs> uh, well, Trump says, I'd listen. Maybe I'd call the FBI. Impeach. I mean, you have to be kidding me. Trump gets word that, that Bernie stiffed a waitress. He has to call the FBI. It, there are a thousand different hypothetical scenarios that you could be talking about. What did the president say? I'd listen. Maybe I'd call the FBI. That's all he said. The left is freaking out over a hypothetical, but they're not looking at the reality. Hillary actually did this. Hillary paid a foreign agent to get Russian dirt, and then she used it to wiretap. President Trump. Or what about more in foreign interference? How about when all of those foreign governments paid millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation when she was running for president? Or little Adam Schiff. Remember he was on the phone call? We have the audio. Oh, we have naked Trump. He was all ears. He didn't call the FBI. The whole thing is so stupid. And it goes back to the Trump Tower meeting where Don Jr. thought he was going to get dirt on Hillary. Didn't get it. They didn't have it. No money changed hands like they did with the Clintons. And the whole meeting was set up by Fusion GPS. This is all ridiculous. Well, I tell you, Jesse, you need a bigger show. Because <laughs> as this parade goes Can I down borrow the street, yours? you're going to have to keep shoveling to try to get out of this one. Let me just say, yeah. this is so ridiculous. There is a United States law. Hmm. This is not a matter of opposition research. There's a law that says you cannot accept money or in-kind contribution from a foreign government. So we're going to lock Hillary that, up. No, no, let me finish. This is, <laughs> this is a president who, as Nancy Pelosi said, cannot tell right from wrong, but legal from illegal. Tell me and about this the dossier. Is Ill How's no, it I'm different than the dossier? This is totally different. What? How's it different? This is, well, you could confuse in GPS as an American company. So no, no, no. Is Christopher Steele is a foreign let agent. Stop. And let he got the dirt from you. Russians. I, 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 enough of the shoveling. Let me just speak, speak the truth One, to it's you. facts. Christopher Ray, who is Trump's FBI director, has said this is wrong. What did Trump say? Christopher Ray is wrong. No, Christopher Ray, the FBI director, is right. And by the way, Jesse, when you try to blame and d deride George Stephanopoulos, this was no gotcha moment. 
He's standing They've been in doing the Oval this office. to every Republican no, since there was no collusion. Is the president okay, since is you're not colluding, there, the president would you is accept speaking. foreign Jesse, dirt? this president, are you, essentially okay. you're insulting the president because the president knows exactly so. what he's doing, knows exactly is, what he's saying. This is no got you moment. You saw the sound well, bite. You have no answer on the dossier. So uh, the dossier, you, uh, uh, Fusion no GPS answer is not an American company. Well, where did he get it from? Oh, stop. Russians. Fusion GPS. Read the Mueller report. Fusion GPS was working with Christopher Steele as an American You guys are running away from what happened firm. today, aren't you? No, Look, you're just I, upset I will, I will over Trump and you don't look at Hillary. If you'll let me finish a sentence. Um, so the question is, does this apply to everybody? Does the standard apply? So during the 2016 election, apparently it was okay to reach out with cash and money to pay foreign actors to get opposition research from foreign Russian adversarial sources to then bring it to the FBI. But Nancy Pelosi today is saying that if someone reaches out to you as a Republican, that is unethical, that is a criminal cover-up, and that is not allowed. When it comes to the dossier, when the left was exposed as being behind the funding for that, the Clinton campaign and the DNC, they claimed it was just opposition, opposition research. It doesn't matter that it came from a foreign source or who the sources was. We were just doing our job as, as a campaign to get information. But when the president uses the same argument from the Oval Office saying he might call the FBI, but he's going to listen to the information, then all of a the sudden they're calling for more impeachment on the basis that he's a criminal. Well, there's a double standard here. Do we want foreign interference in our elections? No. There are reasons why we have laws about foreign donations and foreign money being used for campaigns. But if we're going to talk about this, there's going to be a whole lot of people in Washington, D.C. who are guilty of colluding or using information from foreign governments, including Democrats, to interfere in elections right, Tom and Tom hasn't uh, had a chance uh, to talk yet, and it's 5-12. Go for it. Well, Democrats, just don't talk to Norway, okay? Because <laughs> the president's going to take the, the call The Norway. Norwegian press secretary today was like, what did we do? <laughs> But yes, I agree, Jesse, you're totally dead on. It is completely ridiculous. This story is ridiculous. It was a fabricated story because George planted this, you know, what would you do if this? I wish the president said, well, I'm glad I didn't contact the FBI last time around because the guy who was running the FBI was working against me. Right. Yeah, so that's one example when you shouldn't call the FBI, when the head of the FBI is working for the other campaign, which is what happened. Yeah, uh, Papadopoulos contacted the FBI and said all these foreign agents are trying to spy on me. And what did they do to him? They're Let me just tell you, you guys are covering up for something that's inexcusable. Oh, Remember, wow. when they give wow. you this information, they wow. have hooks in you, and you are not representing the best interest <laughs> of our country. Either you're working for that foreign government, yeah. or you're working They're for Russia. So Hillary's yeah. really working for Russia. Oh, yeah. You know what? This is this is. <laughs> I think there was a missed opportunity on a couple of things. One, I would. I, I've been so terrified of getting in trouble that I would always call the FBI <laughs> yeah. because I do not ever want to get in trouble. And I know that if the Russians, the Chinese, or the Norwegians, or the Swiss, if they call me with information, I would call. But I also think that President Trump could have said, well, um, what about the Obama administration? What were they doing to prevent interference in our election? Yeah. I'd love to hear that answer to that, George, and flip it on him. Mm -hmm. And also is another good example of doing a really important big interview to broaden out your reach. And the interview, um, even though they talked about the economy a little bit, something like this is going to blow up. So it's like if you were the press secretary, you want to like jump on that grenade. <laughs> but here we are once again.